Welcome to Python 3 Intermediate 2 classes. Every video have all slideshows and code available in the description. Understanding the concept of classes is the most important thing in object oriented programming. How to implement classes becomes easier as you use them and discover how best to design your program. So I can't emphasize this enough. Practice makes perfect in programming. So what is a class? A class is referred to as a data structure or type. A class can hold data and can also hold behaviors. The data that a class holds is called attributes, and the behaviors are called methods. Once a class is defined, we get a singular object of that structure. That object can then be copied or instantiated wherever we need to use it. So let's take the example of a class that we've used before, the string class. This class is inbuilt into the Python language and is created when you try to assign a string of characters to a variable. In this case, the data is the characters stored in the string, and the behaviors or methods are things like the strip function or the split lower or upper functions. A full list of string methods will be in the description. So how do we create a class? Python makes it easy to create classes adding as little new syntax as possible. For now we only have to look at one keyword which is the class keyword. To define a class we use the syntax class and then our class name. So in this example class my class colon and then we put our code inside of our my class. So this will create a class called my class. Attributes. Attributes are the variables that belong to a class. These can be any data type. They can even be other classes. In Python, all attributes can be accessed by using dot notation. For example, my class dot my attribute. Methods are functions that belong to a class that either do things to the class's data or do things with the class's data. We'll look more at methods in the next tutorial. Objects. After we have defined a class in Python, we can create objects of that class. An object is much like a variable, however that variable holds all of the data and methods for that class that it was made with. With objects, we can use the data in our classes to store information into our object, much like we would do with the string object class. Let's create our own simple class. We will call it our class my class. Inside, we'll store a favorite number and a name. So let's create a file called myclass.py. Okay, so I'll come over to Ubuntu. And we'll create our file myclass.py. Okay. So we need to declare our class. So we're going to use the class keyword. And we're going to call it myclass colon and then we indent okay on the indent we're going to create an attribute called number and that's going to store the favorite number and we're going to make it equal to zero to start with okay now we're going to create another attribute called name and that is going to equal a string that's going to have no name to start with okay so now let's define our main function like we are used to. So def main. And inside our main function, we're going to create our, our, uh, an, an object of our my class. So let's create a variable or object called me, which is going to equal my class. And we put brackets to create the class. Okay, so this will create a object of our my class. So now we can go me dot number equals and I'll do one three three seven and we could do me dot name. So our name attribute is going to equal draps. Let's create a, another object of our my class. So let's call it friend and friend can equal my class so an object of my class and let's give it a uh, favorite number so friend dot number equals we'll do three and friend dot name equals Steve Oops. Steve okay and we'll create one more object and we'll call it uh, empty 
and that can equal my class and we won't assign any of its attributes. Now let's print out the contents of each of our classes. So let's print, open quotes, the name, colon, close quotes, plus me dot name. So we're going to print out the name, what's held in the name attribute of the me object, plus, open quotes, comma, favorite number, colon, close quotes, plus the string of me dot number, close, close brackets. Okay, we'll create another print statement, so print open bracket, name, colon, close quotes, plus, and we're going to do friend, whoop, dot name, plus, open quotes, uh, comma, favorite number, close quotes, plus the string of friends, dot number close brackets okay and we're going to do one last uh, print which will be our empty so print and we'll do name colon quotes plus empty dot name plus open quotes uh, comma fave number plus string of empty dot number and we'll close off our print okay so we've created our main function let's do our if so if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to open quotes underscore underscore main underscore underscore close quotes colon then we're going to run main okay so let's save this and let's try running it so Python 3, my class dot pi. So if we run that, we get the output, uh, the name draps, favorite number is 1337, name Steve, favorite number is 3, and our empty uh, object has the name no name, and its favorite number is 0, because that was what we initialized our class with. Okay. This concludes our look at classes. There will be a link to, class, uh, to the class section of the Python documentation in the description. There will uh, also be extra code available in the code.txt in the slides folder as well as a challenge task. Don't fear if you don't remember all of this, you can easily come back and rewatch this video to consolidate all of the information. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Next we'll be covering methods and method objects. Thanks for watching.